Here is our original definition of a vector line integral. We have kind of like these two notations, the integral of f dot t ds, integral of f dot dr. This is the way I usually write it. In this section I want to talk about, in this video I should say, I want to talk about an alternative notation that uh, sometimes gets used. Uh, this isn't the alternate notation, this is just set up for the definitions here. F is, we'll be writing F as a function M of X, Y, Z times I hat plus N of X, Y, Z times J hat plus P of X, Y, Z times K hat. Our parameterization R of T is G of T, some function G of T I hat plus H of T J hat plus K of T K hat. So we know how we go ahead and compute these is we do F of R of T dot DR DT. And so f of, so, so like for example, I guess dr dt r prime of t would just be g prime of t i hat plus h prime of t j hat plus k prime of t k hat. Uh, and then we tap f of r of t, which would be replace x, y, and z with g of t, h of t, and k of t, respectively. There's going to be a lot of writing there, so I do, I'm not going to explicitly write down everything. But then, what we would do is that when we go ahead and do f of r of t dot product r prime of t, so we would end up with the first component would be m of replace x with g of t, uh, replace y with h of t, replace z with k of t. And so the i at component here dot product with this down here times g prime of t. And then we have one term for n of x, y, z. So x becomes g of t, then h of t, then k of t. And then this times h prime of t plus p, plug in all the functions in there, and this times k prime of t. So this is our f of r of t dot product r prime of t. And then if we, we'd want to integrate this. We want to integrate this with respect to t. So we are integrating this from t naught to t1 dt. So all of this is our integrand dt. And so sometimes we like to, you know, this is a, a big mess here. Sometimes we want to take a look at these three components separately. So take a look here and what I'm writing out. We're going, you know, we're going to have three terms, the integral of the m times g prime of t, the integral of n times h prime of t, integral of p times k prime of t. And so those three integrals here are on this side. And so the, the notation that we're going to use here is that we're going to say, hey, call this integral the integral of m dx call this integral the integral of n dy, call this integral the integral of p dz. And so the, the, the punchline for, for all of this here, this is, this is the slide that really has the alternate notation on it, is that if you ever see a, if you ever see an integral written out like this, integral over c of m dx plus n dy plus p dz, where m, n, and p are all, are all functions, potentially, of, of uh, x, y, and z. This really means the integral of f dot dr, where f is m, n, p. And we can evaluate them in, we can evaluate an integral that's written like this in exactly the same way as before. So this is the slide that really has the alternate notation on it. Uh, this is a vector line integral. Uh, you know, we take a look at this, it's very clear to us this is a vector line integral. This is also a vector line integral just written in a different way. 
So take a look here. Um, evaluate the integral over C of y dx plus z dy plus x dz for this uh, curve here. I guess I really should say C is this curve here uh, with t running from 0 to 1. This is a vector line integral. This is the same thing as the vector line integral for uh, f is equal to y comma z comma x and we can evaluate it in, we can evaluate the integral over c of f dot dr in exactly the same way as we've been doing um, all section long. So what would we have here? Okay, we know we need r prime of t, which would be, let's see, uh, negative one over t squared, three t squared, and two t. Uh, f of r of t would be, replace y with t cubed, replace z with t squared, and replace x with 2 plus 1 over t. So f of r of t uh, dot product r prime of t is equal to, so this times this is uh, negative t plus this times this would be plus 3t to the fourth plus this times this, that would be plus 4t and then that should give us two. And so our answer here for f dot dr, our answer here for this is going to equal integral for where t runs from zero to one of negative t plus three t to the fourth plus four t plus two dt. And I guess this sh should be straightforward enough to evaluate negative t squared over two plus three-fifths t to the fifth plus two uh, t squared plus two t plug in zero to one and so that would be negative one half plus three-fifths plus four. Okay so so this is one way you know if, if we're seeing this notation here this is just another way to express the vector line integral uh, the, 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 the textbook sometimes has a different approach here, and so occasionally I will go for this approach. Um, it, it, it's computationally the same, same thing. You, you end up with, with the same answer. It, the, the, the notation just looks a little bit different. So uh, I'm just going to do this problem here following more of the textbook's approach. Uh, so we know that, okay, x is going to be cosine t, y is sine t, and z is t in their parameterization. And so then what we can do is dx, dy, dz, what's the derivative of cosine t? dx will be uh, negative sine t dt. What's, what's uh, the derivative of sine t? dy will be cosine t dt, what's the derivative of, of z is t here, dz is equal to dt. And so then what we do is, okay, this up here is going to equal integral over c, along c, c, so the bounds here are going to be zero to two pi of Negative y, negative y is, y in our chart is negative sine t times dx, negative sine t dt, I'll put the dt at the end, plus z, z is t here, times dy, dy is cosine t dt, plus 2x, to cosine t times dz dt here. And so this is our, this is the integral we, we need to do. 
I'll skip over the details here and just say you end up with pi.